Hi, welcome back to UA Technical Solutions. This is part 5 of LG VRF Series 5 training course. In this tutorial we will learn the full wiring and function of external board. External board is used to control and monitor most of the functions and parameters of VRF system, such as expansion valves, solenoid valves, pressure sensor, temperature sensors, sump heaters. External board controls all above on the main PCB instructions and report back to main PCB. Now let's move to the wiring and devices connected on the ports of external board. Port CN09 and CN47 are for main board communication wires. Port CN10 is the 220 volt supplied by the main PCB to power up the external PCB. Base pan heater is connected at port CN25. Active path valve is connected at port CN22. Suction injection valve is connected at port CN23. Liquid receiver in valve is connected at CN20. Liquid receiver out valve is connected at CN21. Hex low valve is connected at CN18. Hex high valve is connected at CN19. Oil balance valve 1 is connected at CN16. Oil balance valve 2 is connected at CN17. Four-way valve 1 is connected at CN14. Four-way valve 2 is connected at CN15. Please note this is only available in selected units. Inverter 2 sump heater is connected at CN12. Valve for oil to return from accumulator to compressor is connected at CN13. Inverter sump 1 heater is connected at CN11. Oil level sensor 1 is connected at C1. Compressor 2 discharge temperature sensor is connected at port CN39 dis C2. Sub cooling pipe thermistor is connected at port CN39 SC1. Suction pipe thermistor is connected at CN38 suck. Hex pipe thermistor is connected at CN38 hex. Compressor 1 discharge temperature is connected at CN38 dis C1. Sub cooling out thermistor is connected at CN37 SC0. Hex high pipe thermistor is connected at CN37 hex H. Liquid pipe thermistor is connected at CN37 LIQ. High pressure sensor is connected at CN34. Low pressure sensor is connected at CN33. Humidity level sensor is connected at CN32. Outdoor air temperature sensor is connected at CN36. Vapor injection electronic expansion valve is connected at CN44. Sub cooling expansion valve is connected at CN42. Main electronic expansion valve 2 is connected at CN41. Main electronic expansion valve 1 is connected at CN40. Thanks for watching. Please do subscribe us at UA Technical Solutions for more training tutorials. Let us know the topics of your choice to make this channel more relevant to you.